Good morning, good morning. Welcome back with Gardening with Tay. This is August 4th, 2024. Today, Sunday, I will be coming out here and I will be harvesting my okra, checking on my new okra seeds with my collard green new plants that I just planted. And, um, and then I will be uh, pulling up my tomato plants to get them ready for harvest for my um, transplanting of my collard greens as y'all can see look at the collard greens i just watered them so i'm waiting on the sun to bring them back up i have so many collard greens that i have to transplant once they get the second leaf like this one right here as y'all can see that one this one's getting one that one has one there's one in here this one has its second leaf that one has its second leaf, and there's so many. Uh, um, I have my okra seeds right here. Right there is my okra seeds. And as you can see, it's hard to get off. Hold on. I'm not gonna pull it too hard. I'm gonna leave it on there, it'll push it off. But I just planted these. I just planted them seeds. I planted the uh, collard greens on on July 25th, and they came up within two days. I just planted the okras on July 30th, and as y'all can see, they're coming up already as well. Um, I'm gonna probably I'm gonna plant some more flower seeds today that I got the seeds from, and I'm gonna show y'all how I do it. So let's go. And um, we're gonna harvest the okra first. It rained the other night, so I got some rain water. These are almost too big to pick, so I think I'm gonna have to keep them on here for my seeds. As y'all can see, this one is way too big. Look, this is gonna be one of my seeds, and I don't know what's on there. Yeah, so this is gonna be my seed pod. I got a couple of seed pods because it rained last night. I, I wasn't feeling good, so I kept them on here. So these are gonna be my, my seed pods for next year because they're too big. This one, this one. Now this one I can pick and keep. I can pick this one. The ones that are too big, I'm gonna keep on there for seeds so that I have one, two. Looks like I have one, two three four about five of them that i won't be able to pick today because they're way too big like these they're, they're way too big for me to harvest i go harvest this one though Let's see this one i'm gonna leave that one and them two right here and them two there's two four five five and I'm going to, oh Lord, I'm trying to bake this one. Uh, that one's way too big, I think. Hold on, let me see. My finger, he's kind of mm, iffy, iffy. Mm, I don't know about that one. He might be a little too tough, so I'm gonna leave that one too. But this one I'm going to pick today. These two right here, I'm going to pick them today later on because they're still growing within a couple of hours they will be they will be more bigger so i'm gonna wait this afternoon to pick them but today i see a harvest so that'd be one two three four five there's six of them and i might have to let stay on there and go to seed because i got them too i waited too late I tell y'all, these things grow within hours, so y'all have to come out here all the time to watch y'all uh, um, okras and see how far they're growing. But um, let me see, this one is little, and then this we have this sweet potato vine growing. But I'm going to harvest all of this right here. I'm going to harvest all of these. Well, not harvest, but I'm going to take all of these out. Most of, I'm thinking I'm leaving two of them and I'm put them in their own little pot. So I have a lot to start with. So let me get started and I'll be back. So all of these in pots will be out of these pots because I have to get ready to 
put my collard greens in these pots. So let me sign off and I'll come back and show y'all what they look like afterwards. All right, stay tuned. See you in a little bit. I gotta pull all these out. I'm gonna put all of my dirt into here. I think into here or my my barrel over there. An ants on me or something's on me. What's on me? Oh, a bee got in here. Hold on. Ugh. I think a bee got on me. It was stung me in the chest. So that's what you what happens sometimes when y'all in the garden, you get bee. You get stung by bees when they get in your clothes. I was trying to get him out and he stung me on my chest. So it didn't bend, it didn't get him, it didn't, it didn't get me real bad. So I'm all right. But um, I, I felt something. But you guys, I have to harvest all these, get them all somewhere. I think I'm gonna put all these on my patio table over there so I have a lot to do so I will show y'all this is the before my my uh, sweet potato vine I see I planted that over here and I see it's taking off as y'all can see look at it it's coming back up I planted it under the ground and they coming on up they coming up so I'm gonna leave them just like they are but I have to move all this I have uh, the housing, the apartment complexes, somebody's pipe busted and they dug all this up. And it's all in my way right now, but I'm gonna have to work around it. So we have peppers growing, as y'all can see. We have peppers coming on out, but the sun is trying to beat them up. So I'm going to move them today so that the sun does not beat them up. And then I'm going to give them some more uh, bone meal and blood meal so they can have a good good uh, takeoff again so well I told you guys again I am have a lot of stuff to do today I see my marigolds are just blooming like crazy where I transplanted them from so they're blooming like crazy and I did save some of the seeds that I, I seen somebody uh, save the seeds on YouTube and they said you can plant them after the seeds dry so I did and look I don't know if y'all can see them look at them they're coming back up so I'm gonna have me some marigolds in this this planter and I have my homemade watering right here I just put some water in these and put some holes in it and then stuck it in here but I got to add some more water to it because it done fed them so with that being said, you guys stay tuned. I'll be back after I'm finished up and I'll show you my finished project. Peace, bye.